Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over how to create a mud puddle which will slow down the player. So this is quite a big puddle but it's just to show you. So essentially we're going to have a mud puddle which we can place down as many as we want, resize them, all this good stuff and rotate them. And I do have other videos showing you how to spawn these in with random sizes, random rotations and good stuff like that. And now obviously in this as well what's going to happen is when we walk through the puddle it's also going to slow down the player. So you can see this is our normal walking speed, we go into the puddle, we're now even slower, but if we jump out of it, we'll be normal and we can jump over it as well, but if we're walking through the puddle, we will be slowed down. Again, obviously the puddles don't look too great, I've just got a free image off of Google, but you can make these look a lot better. This is just the basic fundamental code of how to make it slow you down when going through it. So this is what we're going to make today, so without further ado, let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our puddle material. So again, I'm just using a free texture that I got off of Google, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. We're going to right click on that texture and then create material or any texture you're using. So I'm just going to leave the name as Mud Puddle Matte and open it up straight away. In here, with the output node selected, we're going to go down to the bottom left, change the material domain from surface to deferred decal and a blend mode from opaque to translucent. And then we're going to plug the A into the opacity. So the A is alpha, go into the opacity there and this just means it will be the PNG, it will have all the transparency we want and we can use it in a decal which is how we're going to be doing the puddle. So we can hit apply and this should now work perfectly for us. We can save and close that. So as you see there that's nice and loaded done. I'm going to close this and then create the blueprint. So I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class, get an actor. I'm just going to name this mud puddle BP like so, opening that up straight away. In here I'm going to add a component and we're going to add a decal and then what I'm going to do is rotate it on the Y by minus 90 so that way it is facing down so it will actually look proper and be facing down on the floor as well so make sure that you do rotate it by minus 90 on the Y to make sure it is working perfectly. And the decal material I'm going to set to then just be my puddle, mud puddle mat there and that will now work for us. And again I do have different videos on making these look better. What I'm going to do now is also add in a box collision. So what I'm going to do, just to make this easier, is minimize this ever so slightly so I can still see it. So I'll make that a bit bigger like that, maybe move it over here. And I'm going to put a puddle blueprint into the level. So I'm going to drag that in there and now you can see our puddle. And the reason I'm doing that is just for reference of scale of the puddle because if we deselect the decal we can't see it. So back in our puddle BP here, I'm going to add a component and add a box collision, like so. I'm going to scale this up to be the correct size for the decal, so we can see it there. So let me just scale that up on the X and Y, like so, to be the right size of the decal there. So I think that's going to be good, and I might make it ever so thinner on the Z, so we really have to just basically be only on the floor for it to affect us. If we're above the puddle, it won't affect us, so I think that's going to be great for me. That is what you need to do for the box collision. So I'm open this back up, compile, save, and go over to the event graph now. I'm going to delete these three nodes, right click on my box collision and add event, add on component begin overlap, right click it again, add event, add on component end overlap. Because obviously when we're in the box collision we're in the mud, when we're out of the box collision we're out of the mud. So that is where we want to be changing the speed. So I'm going to come out of other actor and cast to our character, which for me is the third person character, but for you it could be third, first, or whatever you've named it. The reason I'm doing this is to make sure that it is our character which is overlapping and so that we can then change their walk speed. So I'm going to do that on both begin and end overlap like so. Then out of one of these I'm going to get come out as third person character and get the character movement. Should be down at the very bottom like so. And out of that I'm then going to set max walk speed because that is how we change the player's current speed. And I'm going to just copy and paste that so I can get that on both of them because the end overlap, I want to set it back to my normal speed. So that's the bottom one here. And for me, by default, the normal speed is 600. And again, that's what it will be for you by default as well. But obviously, if you've changed it, then just change it there as well. And then on the top one, so when we're in the mud, the slower speed, I'm going to set as 150. You can set it to be absolutely whatever you like. Just mess about the values to get it perfect for you. But I think 150 is good for me. So now we can compile, save, minimize, and hit play to test this out. So you can see in the level there we have the mud puddle looking great. 
we're walking around, this is our normal speed. If we walk into the mud puddle, it's going to slow us down like this. And as soon as we get back out, it will speed us up again, like so. And we can jump over it without it affecting us. Obviously, we landed in at the very end there. And if we walk through and then jump, we don't get affected by it because we're not in the mud anymore. So that works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video as so we've done everything we want to do. We've set up this very basic system in which we have a mud puddle on the floor or anything you want and which one we walk through it, it's going to slow down the player and as soon as we get out, we'll go back to our normal walking speed again. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.